Good morning everyone, it is Monday and this is my outfit. This top is from New York and Company. Oh, this top is from J. Crew, and these bottoms are from New York and Company. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. First thing in the morning, not at school, and I'm already annoyed slash stressed because my car has a flat tire. Uh, and I don't know how to change it. I never learned, no one ever taught me. And now it's not the time to try and figure it out. Like I don't have time for that. I don't know why or how it happened um and i just took my car to the shop on saturday so i don't know but that was for the air conditioner but i'm like i feel like if something else was wrong with my car they would have told me so i don't know <laughs> so <laughs> i'm annoyed because why i don't i don't know why luckily there's a place that opens at seven that's like right down the street luckily hopefully my car can get there i don't know uh, hopefully it'd be quick because obviously I have to be at work at a certain time and it's a Monday and have things that I need to do to prepare for at least today so yeah and then also I didn't realize I didn't have any coconut water where I was blending my smoothies so I had to use regular water <sighs> so it's not one thing it's another and that whole daylight same as time thing threw me off which is why my hair is back in a braid out because I didn't have time or didn't feel like twisting it yesterday because I woke up oh I got out of bed like around nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> <clears throat> but this week it's supposed to be cooler still which I'm enjoying normally it would not be this cool during this time but I'll enjoy it while it lasts um, Originally, I was about just vlogging one day this week, but there's some other things going on this week, so it'll probably be a weekly vlog, although I probably won't do like a middle of the day update. I might just show you my outfit for a couple of days, and that's it. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to head out to that shop, and hopefully it'll be a quick fix, fingers crossed, <laughs> and I will catch up with you guys later. All right, so it's 1.24 and I'm just now having lunch because I had to cover somebody's class. There's three teachers out and none of them have subs, so <laughs> basically everybody. <sighs> so annoyed. And I still got other stuff I need to do because I wasn't able to do everything since I got here late. Um, still on time, but I guess my tire had a nail in it, so they just patched it up real quick and that was it. do something else for ELA as opposed to what I originally planned. But part of that is because they told us to update the smart notebook to the newest version. But the newest version doesn't run Flash. If the file has an Adobe or it requires Flash doesn't work correctly so we're supposed to just open like save the document or the file the smart notebook file and open it up into um, a certain browser that I believe I saved as a bookmark yes I did okay oh, I didn't mean to do that <laughs> and our bells are off because of the because of daylight saving time. So yeah. So I'm supposed to use Smart Tech or whatever. This website and then you just open an existing notebook file. Uh yeah. And it's supposed to work, so but I need to go make a copy real quick. Oh, this is the new computer. Although it's not, <laughs> I don't know. Like, our old computer was a swivel screen and it included a DVD player, but this one doesn't. And it's not a swivel screen, screen either. So, in some ways, it doesn't really feel like an upgrade. It's just like a new old computer, if that makes sense. And we have to have this thing too, which is ridiculous. And I'm about to go. Uh, print something out and 
make some copies for our warm up. So I'll probably talk with you guys in the morning. All right, good morning. It is Tuesday, 7.06, and this is my outfit. I'm wearing this dress from The Gap with some leggings, also from The Gap, and these new brown booties are from Tom. Because yeah. I didn't have any brown booties or whatever, so. Ooh, but I was super tired last night. I was probably asleep by, like, before 8.40. Um, but I still woke up really tired I think because yesterday was just so stressful <sighs> hopefully today would be a little bit more calm but yeah uh, I have class tonight so I'll be leaving like 350 I think if I can well leave my co teacher's classroom at 350 350 and be in my car by like 355 uh, that gives me enough time to get downtown and find parking <sighs> hopefully and um, we thought we were supposed to have a data meeting yesterday because that's what's on the schedule but we didn't so i don't know mm, but today is extra code um so it's like in the 40s right now mm -hmm, i don't think anything should be going on today tomorrow there's something going on and then thursday some other stuff going on <laughs> but yeah and then Friday I'll be staying at the school for detention which because there's a chance we're gonna have a meeting Wednesday and Thursday so we'll see that's why I just scheduled it for Friday but yeah I'm about to head out so I will talk with you guys I don't know if it would be today it might be in the morning so I'll just see you guys later all right good morning it is Wednesday like 6 55 and this is my outfit Top and bottoms are both from New York and Company. Uh, yeah, but yesterday was a kind of regular day. My ELA class did a whole lot better, in part because I split them up in groups. So one group did a research project, and then the other group was with me. We went over like race strategy, and we did some GMAS practice or Georgia Milestone. Oh, but I am so tired. Uh, I have a week and a half left until spring break. <laughs> Trying to power through. I think I'm going to stop and get some Starbucks today. But we also have a data meeting after school today. When really all I want to do is just come home. Students ended up coming into my class like towards the end of fourth period, which is my planning period. So I wasn't really able to vlog. And I was trying to uh, do some, or I was taking notes. <laughs> but in social studies we're going to be doing a test today and i edited it so it's less less questions and less answer choices because that's an accommodation for some students so i did that and i was in the middle of doing science right before i left yesterday so i don't know if i finished science or not when i got home last night basically i just ate something and then went to bed because i was just so tired so i didn't get a chance to check that so I'm gonna need to do that. And then also today is National Walkout Day. However, our district is not participating in that. We're gonna be doing something different because they're like, A, it's against teacher's contract to do that anyway, so. And then they also don't want to have like large groups of students can, you know, together in one place because that could be a safety issue so instead they're going to have like a little town meeting with delegates from middle from the middle and high schools and then we talk with different people in a county so they're going to be live streaming that during the first period so that's what we're going to be doing instead <coughs> so <coughs> that's what's happening today i don't know how long it's supposed to last or if it's going to interfere with other classes or not Next week, we're supposed to be doing mock GMAS practice because uh, they went ahead and put out the, the schedule for testing and I'm going to be a test administrator as well as a proctor. So, um, with six, it's a, when I looked at it, it said six and seventh graders. So, and also my room gets used as a testing room for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but so we're going to be running through that, but they're going to split it up next week. Like, 
they're gonna do eighth grade well i think it's already split up so monday we're gonna do eighth grade tuesday seventh grade and wednesday sixth grade so a that means my students are gonna have to move to a different classroom when my room is used for testing then there'll be some times when i won't be there because of testing so i'm just trying to think in my head of what they could possibly do when i'm not there luckily it's only like first through half a second and then like third and half a fourth so i don't have to worry about fifth period too much and that is basically it for now i'm about to head out so i can get some starbucks and i will talk to you guys later good morning it is thursday 705 and this is my outfit this top is from forever 21 then these bottoms are from oh baby <laughs> But we had our daily team meeting yesterday. And then I had to start by the UPS store. So by the time I got home, it was like six, a little after six. <laughs> then it didn't leave me much time to do anything. And today we have a SWD meeting this morning. <clears throat> and I think that's it. Hopefully when there's no meeting at the school or whatever. But. Anyways, I'm about to head out and I will just talk with you guys later. Alright, so it is 4.47 and I am home. I didn't get a chance to vlog earlier today because I ended up having to cover somebody else's class and we had that meeting this morning and yeah. <sighs> but yeah. Um, two teachers have been out like this whole week so far and they neither one of them had subs so, so. everybody's had to cover. Uh, originally my name wasn't on the list but then the clerk sent me an email saying could I cover a certain part and I did and then the person who's supposed to cover the second half never showed up so I called like I waited I gave the person like an extra five minutes just in case and then I called the front office because I didn't remember who was supposed to cover because I wasn't really paying attention but yeah so I didn't get a chance to do any lesson plan but it's going to be kind of weird anyway since we're doing the mock testing next week so that just affects my first and I think third period but I have some things planned because we're starting a new unit in social studies in science so um I probably have them do notes one day and then we'll do that Monday that way Tuesday Cause I'll be with them Monday so I won't be with them for Tuesday or Thursday or Tuesday and Wednesday so if we go ahead and do notes Monday they could use their notes to answer questions from some other activities or whatever so we're starting our Australia unit in social studies and I forget what we're doing in science but I might have them go ahead and take notes in science and then find I know what I could do I think I have like some task cards so I could just print some task cards off and they can use their notes to answer the task card that works. And then ELA, I'm thinking about starting a book. I was supposed to start it <laughs> already because basically the third nine weeks are over. But oh well. And then most of the sixth grade tomorrow will be gone except for the magnet students and students with disabilities for some reason. I don't know why. They're going to go watch A Wrinkle in Time, so. And then some other teachers are being chaperones, like the band teacher is, and um, the academic coach, and some other people. So, yeah. Um, I need to figure out if we're going to start the book next week for ELA, Hatchet. Mm -mm. There aren't that many choices. I don't know if I have to stick with that or what, but I think we're supposed to be doing our next collection anyway, technically. <sighs> but I'm gonna eat something. Uh, maybe relax my six period co-teacher ended up leaving early but it was fine like those students were because it's eighth grade and they were extra quiet today <laughs> so basically it we got like 
six school days left before spring break so yay i will just talk with you guys in the morning good morning it is friday seven o'clock and this is my outfit just wearing this top from h and and some jeans and yeah that is basically it most of the sixth graders will be going on a field trip and that does affect me a little bit um because a couple of my ilt students won't be there so that's just about it <sighs> but i'm glad it is friday and next week last week before spring break and next week um monday tuesday and wednesday we'll be doing the mock testing and we won't have ilt during those days so and during actual testing we won't have ilt either so <clears throat> In my fifth period class, their sixth period teacher said he had to leave early tomorrow or today. And so I guess he wants me to watch them, which, uh, having that class twice. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> that, that is basically it. Hopefully I won't have to cover anybody in class today and actually maybe get some work done. Like lesson plans. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do when we do the mock testing because obviously for some of it I won't be there because I'll either be administering a test or proctoring one. I'm gonna have to relook at the schedule and also they made an error but I guess that's why we're doing a run through. <laughs> so when it comes time to testing hopefully all the kinks will be worked out. Yeah. I'm super tired and I feel like I got a lot of stuff to do this weekend. Uh, I have yet to have had a weekend where I could just sit and do nothing and enjoy myself. Uh, I'm ready for a summer break early. I will talk with you guys later. Alright, so it is 1.35 and my planning period, I was able to do science and social studies planning or plans. Still not sure what we're gonna do for ELA. Uh, yeah. I still need to see if I could get those books and check out. Uh, so maybe I'll do that after I do this. <laughs> so we can start doing that. Um, and then also do some practice for the Georgia Milestones. Because uh, I got this book from Amazon it just arrived so this looked like it will it looked like it would be helpful okay. so the sixth graders went on a trip to the movie theater and but some of them didn't and they were supposed to go to the ones that didn't go were supposed to go to a classroom I guess um, but I think it was just the ones who originally were supposed to go on a trip that didn't because there are obviously none of the students with disabilities or the magnet students with. But the PE teacher, I guess, thought that he still wasn't supposed to have this. Interruption. If any classes have not gone to lunch, please do so at this time. Again, if any classes have not gone to lunch, please make your way to the cafeteria at this time. Thank you. 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 Thank that they need to go to another class for some reason. It's just making sense. I don't know why he would do that. <laughs> so one student happened to my one of my fifth period students and he was just standing in the hallway knocking on my door asking if he could come in and I'm like no because I already know I'm gonna have to be with them for sixth period as well and two hours is more than enough like that's more than enough. I don't need <laughs> But I think we're gonna go to the other teacher's classroom for Sixth Spirit because he has enough computers and I think he's gonna do a combination of paper and online, so like <sighs> it's stressful. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I don't expect anything else to be happening major to happen today. Um that is it for this week's vlog. We have one week left and then it's spring break. So Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.